After you've completed the quotes and explanations from the poem and the song Crusader, um, now I want you to think back to the article that we read Friday and yesterday. And we were reading about Pope Urban II and his call for the Crusades. If you don't have your example or of your, your article, you can always go back here and click where it says the Crusades and it will open the document for you. And I know I have this window pretty small here, but um, you would be able to see the entire document. But for you're going to need that as you go through this next part. So the directions say to support the argument below using evidence from the article that we read on oh, last Friday, it should say. This is a good way for me to check my typos. Friday and Monday which was yesterday. Make sure you add a transition. We're looking at writing. Um, and so when we look at our claim, evidence one, evidence two, evidence three, if we were to recopy all of this together, it would look like a paragraph. So when you read these boxes across when you're done, it should sound like a paragraph, which is why I want you to make sure you have a transition at the beginning of each of your pieces of evidence. So the claim that I'm giving you is that Pope Urban II contributed a conflict, contributed to a conflict that still affects the Middle East today when ordering the Crusades and should be viewed as a villain. And so we talked a little bit about how that article was biased. After this activity, you're going to go and, and do this exact same thing with a different claim. Um, so I'm not going to give the another explanation of it. Just know that this claim support is supported with arguments from the article um, that we, we've already read. And then you're going to have an opposite claim at the very end of this after you complete the next activity. So my first example of evidence is to begin, he gave permission to Christians to kill Muslims. And since they were not trained warriors, they ended up killing innocent Muslims, other Christians, and Jews. This ex this uh, evidence ties back to the belief that he should be viewed as a villain because his none of this would have happened had he not ordered the Crusades. So you need to come up with two other really negative effects of what happened because of um, him ordering the Crusades. And you're going to write these in complete sentences for evidence two and evidence three with transitions at the beginning. 